okay so after creating the project let's go and add our first test file and we call it login tests so we'll make this class public and let's say we are automating login test case for the gmail or any of the google service so first test case that we are automating is verify user can log into gmail using username and password second is verify user can log into gmail using username at the rate gmail.com and password So basically these two test scenarios if we want to automate so I have the code written for them and we need to just fix the references here so we'll great so we have first two test cases automated now if we want to run these tests using X unit what we need to do is we need to mark them as fact so this test case is a fact so that is the notation of X unit so let's do that and second test is also another fact so two test cases added here now let's go ahead and build our solution so now if we take a look at text explorer then these test cases will be identified and shown here so that is we just take it in and we fix it at the bottom now at the bottom the test case code uh, the test function name will appear completely and we can see that we can go and add an app config here the configuration and here in this config we can add app settings and inside the app settings we can put add and we can have a key and the value so basically it is x unit dot method display and this value is method so if we do this and we rebuild our code then what we will notice is in test explorer they will just appear as the method name rather than having the fully qualified name along with the class so this looks more cleaner and this thing is driven by the app setting in the app config fair so now we have two test cases written and automated